I've touched on a situation where you might not want to be, like so working with image data, for example, natural language data. Um, what other kinds of circumstances would XGBoost not be the ideal choice? Yeah, obviously, like non-tabular data, like you mentioned, um, XGBoost isn't going to work with that unless you pre-process your data. And, and as, as you mentioned, your deep learning models are state-of-the-art performance or what people are using these days for image, um, video, uh, audio data, and that sort of thing. Um, if you've got... Uh, Going maybe the opposite direction, if you have really small data, right? Um, maybe you only have tens or a, a few hundred rows of data, you might want to go with a simpler model, maybe something like logistic regression. Uh, um, another key thing that might impact that decision, and this is probably one of the biggest influencers, is th this notion of interpretability. Um, can you interpret the model? Right? I knew that was going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and so I, I've done some work in the finance sector. And, and a, a simple example is if we're making a model to predict whether we should give someone a loan or not. Right. And, and you could imagine if you're a customer going into a bank and you're applying for a loan and they say, no, we're not giving you a loan. And you ask, well, why not? And they say, because uh, the model said so. That's not going to be super satisfying for the customer. Um, and, and so you could imagine that if you are in that situation where you want to be able to explain what went on, and if you were able to say, well, if you had $5,000 in an account and your credit score was 10 points higher, we would definitely give you a loan. Um, that would be okay, I didn't get a loan, but I know what I need to do to get one. And so if you had a model that was able to give you those answers, even though maybe it wasn't quite as accurate at getting fraud, but it, it made it so you didn't make all the customers mad and leave you for a different bank, that might be a trade-off that you're willing to make. So that notion of interpretability, a lot of people would call uh, XGBoost a black box model, meaning that it's impossible to understand. I would, I would say it's a dark gray model. I, I mean, if, if you're, if you're motivated, you can, you can, you can look at all the trees and you can print them out and you could walk through them. Right. And you could, you could understand what's going on there, but that's not something that you're going to do with a loan officer. They're not going to sit down with you and say, um, well, let's look at tree one through 582. Right. That, that's that's just not going to work in a business context. So, so uh, you know, a strict white box model that is completely interpretable might be a reason uh, to to choose a different model. Now, now there are there are uh, some libraries that let us somewhat sidestep those, and and we'll probably discuss those later. Um, and then I guess one issue, you know, if you do have like thousands of trees, you know, there could be a speed issue that, and if you need like super quick results, right? Um, doing something like logistic regression it, it is gonna be hard to beat logistic regression because you're basically just taking the inputs and multiplying them by a weight and summing that and, and that's your answer. So it's gonna be hard, to, hard if you need super quick uh, inference or speed on that. Nice, yeah, that's a really good point. I guess I haven't, used that many trees in XGBoost. And I've never deployed into production, so I'm not the expert. I hadn't thought about that, how if you have lots of trees, you, you're you going to underperform um, relative to a regression model. So if this was like a, you mentioned finance applications there, you're talking about loans where it's critical to have um, uh, interpretability. But um, another kind of finance case is like high-frequency trading, where it's like you have milliseconds or fractions of milliseconds matter in mm -hmm. getting a trade ahead of somebody else in that scenario even just a little bit of lag associated with xg boost might be too much yeah and and again there might be a trade off there it's like we might not be able to do the trade if it's slow and so we're willing to take a a model that that maybe makes slightly worse trades because uh, otherwise we wouldn't even be able to be in the game sort of thing right totally